At the macroeconomic level, fiscal policy is one of the most important tools the government has to manage demand and generate economic stability. So to demonstrate the stabilization role of fiscal policy, let's consider the following. In the following diagram, the goods market is in equilibrium at point E. Total spending is equal to the level of output and income. But at the moment, this is lower than the level of full employment. The economy is experiencing unemployment, and the cause of this unemployment is inadequate total spending. Under these circumstances, Government can use fiscal policy to stimulate spending in an effort to increase production that creates employment. Here, this can be achieved by an expansionary fiscal policy. Now, a fiscal policy is expansionary when it seeks to increase total spending, resulting in higher output and income. This can be achieved by increasing government spending or by reducing income tax, or both. First, let's consider the impact of increased government spending. An increase in government spending means that government buys more goods and services from firms in the economy. It could be bricks for building, gravel for roads, sheets for hospital beds, or any number of things. Firms respond by increasing production. They employ more factors of production, so household income increases, and they increase their consumption spending. The multiplier kicks in, and the production is boosted even further than this, and income rises again. The multiplier is kicked in, and that initial injection of government spending stimulates a cycle of rising output and income. Now, we describe this as a chain of events. An increase in government spending, G, increases total spending, A, which boosts output and income, Y. The multiplier adds momentum, and the rise in output and income causes a rise in consumption spending. So total spending increases again, stimulating even more production and income. In our goods market diagram, the impact of an increase in government spending is presented as follows. An increase in government spending, which as we know is autonomous, pushes the vertical intercept, the A bar, upwards, and the total spending curve shifts. The market is no longer at equilibrium point E. The rise in total spending, the increased demand, stimulates production and income. And with the multiplier pushing it, the equilibrium level of income YE moves upwards until we reach the new equilibrium at E1. This process also creates jobs and the market moves closer to a level of full employment. Lower taxation implies that households have more disposable income and this frees them up to increase their consumption spending and therefore total spending in the market goes up. Firms respond by raising production levels, so using more factors of production, with the result that household income rises again, causing another round of increases in disposable income, consumption, total spending and production. It's the multiplier effect at work all over again. In terms of an event chain, which shows what factors cause others to change, the impact of lower taxation can be described as follows. Lower tax means people have more disposable income, so consumption spending rises, increasing total spending in the economy. Firms respond by producing more, and so income increases. Again, with the help of the multiplier, this generates more spending, output and income. In our graph, taxation changes the slope of the total spending curve. A lower income tax results in a steeper slope, reflecting that households now spend a greater proportion of their income on consumption. At the original level of income and output, YE, households now spend a larger proportion of income, namely C multiplied by 1 minus T. Total spending exceeds output, inventories decline, and firms react by increasing production. This rise in output increases income, and households once again have more to spend. The multiplier is kicking in, and the market moves to the new equilibrium at E2 and Y2. A movement closer to full employment takes place, and unemployment decreases. From this, we can see that an expansionary fiscal policy, such as increasing government spending or reducing taxation, 
can be used to increase total spending and the level of production and income in the economy. Now this in turn reduces unemployment because higher production employs more labour.